Sadhguru, I have a very difficult question for me. It's a very difficult question. Generally, power corrupts uh, everybody, including me. But uh, I am now in a very, spi very special spiritual path because I am your devotee. I want to avoid power overruling me, making me corrupt, and, and I don't want to be slave to the power, whatever power I am having. Power is entirely corrupting the whole world, you know it. But I don't want to get trapped in that uh, crazy thing. Can you advise me, Sadhguru? Namaskaram, Sadhguru. Mm. Power doesn't corrupt, whoever said that. People are corrupt. When they get empowered, it becomes super visible. When they're somewhere, the microscope is not on them, so you don't see it. When they come to a position of power, their corruption finds volume, a different dimension of expression. But someone who is not corrupt will not become corrupt because of this or that. First of all, let's understand what is corruption. The moment Fundamental definition of corruption, okay? Later on I'll come to the political <laughs> definitions. <laughs> the fundamental definition of corruption is just this. If there is something called as me and there's something called as you, corruption has started. Because what is me is more important than what's you, isn't it? Yes or no? Once me comes, what is mine and what is not mine will come. Once this is mine and this is not mine comes, corruption is deepened. If you get very attached to what is mine and what is not mine, then it's well established. Like this it goes on. So all I have been trying to do all these years is to make corruption galactic. The problem is it's happening small scale. So all I have been saying is, let us make corruption cosmic. Because the nature of who you are is such, you have to identify with something. If you identify with just this body, one level of corruption. Then you will get married and identify with two bodies, another kind of corruption, corruption multiplied. There is a <clears throat> there is a thing that used to go up, not anymore because things have changed now in this generation. In the previous generation when we were in school, college, there was a thing going around in the universities, it's like this. When you are a student, you, everybody is a communist. The moment you find employment, you become a socialist, you know. The moment you get married, you become a capitalist. The moment you get children, you become corrupt <laughs> because <laughs> When your identification is with this body, you already corrupt, but it's so small scale, nobody notices it. Or everybody accepts it, oh, it's natural. But when it becomes two, the corruption becomes little bigger. People can see the conspiracy. Family is the first form of corruption. Yes, I'm not speaking against it, I'm just telling you, it is so. Because suddenly what is ours and what is not ours becomes important. Then comes community, then comes nation, then comes race, then comes religion, like this. Different levels of corruption. Essentially corruption means whatever thoughts of well-being, acts of well-being that human being is able to commit, he's excluding somebody, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes? 
Right now there is something here, I want to give little more to this person, little less to this person. This is corruption, isn't it? The more strongly you're identified with what is me and what is mine, you have become more corrupt. Only thing is, it may be… the question is whether it is socially accepted forms of corruption or not. If something happens to your family, your children, when buckets of tears will come, when children are running around without clothes or food in their belly on the streets, no teardrop ever came to you, no thought came to you, you're corrupt, essentially you're corrupt. If you make you the prime minister, your corruption will be reported in the media. Yes. <laughs> right now your corruption is not worth reporting because it doesn't have so much consequence to other people. But I'm saying, if bucketfuls of tears will come, if your child's life is in danger and a whole lot of them running on the streets, not one moment of anything, that means you're hardcore corrupt. Yes or no? You don't like it, it's okay. Corruption is not always a conscious thing. Most of the corruption on the planet is because you're identified with something limited. Limited identity is corruption. The moment you're identified with what is me and what is mine, you are corrupt, essentially corrupt. If you become the prime minister, it will be visible to everybody. Every single act that you do has huge impact on millions of people, so it is seen. Right now, between your right hand and left hand, you made one superior, one inferior. In this state, if you become a prime minister, isn't it? This is superior hand, this is inferior hand, you know. So in this state, how can you not be corrupt? You're corrupt. With empowerment, it becomes more and more visible. That is why we are aiming at the powerful and the people who are in positions of responsibility and power because if you at least make that identity a little larger, see, if you make your identity yourself, you will rob the person next to you. If you make your identity for your community, you will do good things to your community at the cost of some other community. If you're identified with the nation, you will do good things to your nation at the cost of another nation. Yes or no? But that is not perceived as corruption, but it is corruption. The whole world is full of corruption, one against the other all the time, isn't it? What is mine should do well, what is yours should die. This is corruption, isn't it? So, it is not that power corrupts. I don't know who said that, people are corrupt. With power, corruption finds expression. With power, everything finds expression. If you're intelligent, your intelligence will find expression. If you're loving, if you become powerful, your love will find expression. If you're corrupt, your corruption will find expression without changing the basic quality of who you are. You want to fix the outside, no. There is a tree which produces flowers, there is a tree which produces thorns. The more you empower both of them, one will produce more flowers, another will produce more thorns. So let's fix our pedigree first properly. properly. If you fix the, your pedigree first, from where are you coming? Have you come from your biological identity or are you… have you… do you want to live here with your divine identity? That's a choice you have. If you're identified with the biology of who you are, you will be anyway corrupt. How can you not be? Because biology is a limited process. If you're identified with this, everything outside will be outside. If you're identified with the divine, when you say, I'm a devotee, that's what it means, that I've dissolved all my limited identities and my identity is with only one thing. If it is so, 
you should become the prime minister of the world and it'll be great, world will be fine, not one's well-being at the cost of another. Well-being as it can be for all life on this planet, that's when you're not corrupt, isn't it?